असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा मृत गमय ओं शांति 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 All the respected teachers present online. At the outset, I am thankful to the organizers for giving me this opportunity <clears throat> of having interaction with the teachers. Today is a thrice blessed day, as you know. Lord Buddha was born on this day. He got enlightenment on this day. and he got parinirvana also on the date on this day so it's a great day when we are meeting on buddha jayanti and one more thing today we had inauguration of vivek tirtha vivekananda institute of human excellence of ramkrishna mission this morning it was inaugurated so it is not only three thrice blessed day it is a four times blessed day and i'm very happy to meet all the teachers the topic that is given to me is teacher as a torch bearer of change teachers really are the torch bearers of change during one of the seminars of teachers a teacher during the question answer session said that nowadays people are not giving respect to the teachers i said do not demand respect command respect i know some teachers even today they received lot of respect from the students but their behavior pattern is very noble they have a very strong character and the students know their teacher how unselfishly he is living his life of service dedicated service but this is very true nowadays in the society the teachers are not receiving proper respect with the result the society does not get the cream of the society as teachers it is not their priority which is an unfortunate thing because the most important segment of a society is teachers because it has got a multiplier effect that is why and i ask many teachers what are you doing with an apologetic face they say oh i am a teacher within bracket how miserable i am and how unfortunate i am even teachers themselves are not giving respect to themselves what to talk of the society the first of all the teachers must give respect to themselves i am not a teacher only i am a torch bearer of change i am a nation builder on me depends the whole of the, the future of the whole of the nation and of the so of the society and of the whole world whatever change we want to bring about this can be brought about brought about only by the teachers dr ap abdul kalam wrote a beautiful book india 2020 vision of the new millennium in which he wrote if you are a teacher in whatever capacity you are you have a very important role to play in making india a developed country by 2020 in whatever capacity if you are a teacher a great role to play why because it is a multiplier effect the future ministers the future is officers ips officers the future officers 
the future businessmen all are in your class are in your classroom it depends upon you how you mold their character if today you can make their character if you can today mold their bright personality a strong personality a noble personality then tomorrow they will become enlightened citizens of the country and will contribute to the progress of the country development of the nation and make india a developed country so much depends upon the teachers because it has got a multiplier effect today when i'm talking to say 100 teachers i'm talking to 100 teachers multiplied by 1000 students minimum 1000 students can be inspired by a teacher on an average if not more so just understand what a great amount of contribution can be made by the teachers as per the present scenario the whole society is undergoing a very bad phase everybody is under tension lot of cases of schizophrenia number of suicides increasing drug addicts increasing crimes increasing so if we want to make a change in this scenario we'll have to produce enlightened citizens and these produce enlightened citizens can be produced only if the students are given the message of character building on 16 april 2003 i was at rashtrapati bhavan i had gone to dr a p j abdul kalam to present to him a dvd that we had prepared based on his speech we had invited him on 13th february 2002 to porbandar for inaugurating one of the 81 school buildings we had constructed in gujarat as a part of earthquake rehabilitation project and he had delivered very inspiring speech to about 3000 youths present there in porbandar on that day so we had prepared a dvd and had gone there to gift him in fact when he came to porbandar at that time he was not the president of india but in our meeting we had told he is not only bharat ratna he is a vishwa ratna and he is going to become great and within 4 months he became the president of india so on 16th april 2003 i may i met him with lot of reservation because i thought now that he has become president of india how would he behave because earlier we had traveled together by car and also in the plane and we had a lot of interaction at porbandar at rajkot now i was little apprehensive how would he uh, welcome me or how would he behave with me but as soon as i went there he stood up and he handed over me handed over to me a very big basket of fruits and then i handed him over many cds and uh, of that cd and uh, books and photographs of swami vivekananda and all that then he said swami ji you brought so many things for me then i jokingly said what can i bring for you like a fakir i have come to meet an emperor immediately he replied see his humility only one emperor swami ji we are servants of the same emperor so he was so simple and we had lot of interaction then i told dr kalam you want to make india a developed country by 2020 but i tell you even if you bring the wealth of the whole world bank and put into the five year plans the gdp growth may be there but the poverty of the poor people will not go 
Why, Swamiji? Why? He asked. I said, for the simple reason. The former Prime Minister of India said, if you put one rupee into the five year plan, only 15 paisa comes to the grassroots level farmer. I'm afraid even five paisa is coming or not. Rampant corruption in the country today. I'm talking about 2003. What is the solution, Swamiji? I said, only one solution. What we should have done on 15th August 1947, we should do it now urgently. What is that? Swami Vivekananda said, what we want is man making education, character building education. Unfortunately, what we are giving, unfortunately, is not man making education, demon making education. According to Bhattari, there are four types of people. Ete sat purusha, parartha ghataka, swartha and parityajaye. Samanistu parartham udyam abrata swartha virodhenaye. Temi manav rakshasaha parahitam swartha and nignantiye. Yetu dignanti nirarthakam parahitam teke najani mahe. There are four types of people in the society. What are the four types? Number one, Satpurusha. They are excellent human beings. They try to good to humanity at the cost of themselves, sacrificing their own life. Second, Samana Manusha, ordinary human beings. They first try to good to themselves, then they try to good to others. Third, he says, Mano Rakshasa. They are looking like human beings. But they are basically inside they are Rakshasa, demons. Mano Rakshasa is the, is the word coined by Bhartri Hari in his book Diti Shatakam. Mano Rakshasa, what do they do? For their small selfish interest, they can do any amount of harm to others. Where they are found? Everywhere in the society. An executive engineer, for example, takes away 10 lakhs of rupees from under the table, not from above the table. And tells the builder, you can mix any amount of sand with cement, but you give me 10 lakh rupees. And the builder mixes very little of cement, it's most of sand, prepares the dam, the check dam is constructed, and now inauguration is to be done Minister is very busy, but by the time minister comes to inaugurate, what happens? There is a big, there is a heavy rain and the dam is gone. Because it was made of sand. Hundreds of people die, thousands of people become homeless. But this executive engineer says, doesn't matter. I have got my house with those 10 lakh rupees. I'm so happy. Manav Rakshasa. And these Manav Rakshasa are in every field. I have given only one example. In every segment of society, you find businessmen, lot of they go for a lot of adulteration, for cheating the people, cheating the public. So many ways of cheating the public. Everywhere you find Manav Rakshasas for their small self-interest. They can do any amount of harm to others. The people are killed, we do not mind. But they will have different types of medicines and very high costly medicines. It, they may be dangerous also, doesn't matter. I want to make my money. Let the people go to dogs, let the people go to death. This is Manu Rakshasa. And Bhartri says there are four people type of people also. I cannot give their name, but I can tell them what do they do. I can tell you what they can do, what they do. Third type of people, for their small, for their small self-interest, they can do any amount of harm to others. Fourth type of people, they do not derive any benefit, but they enjoy others' downfall. Somebody somebody's fallen down. Oh, very nice. He's very happy. Somebody's house is burning. Very nice. But did you get any money? No, no, but his house is burning. Very nice. Some student has failed. Very nice. But did you get any number extra? No, no, that student has failed. I'm so happy. So you enjoy others' downfall. You enjoy others' harm without any benefit to yourself. Manav Raksasa, they try to get some little benefit by harming others. 
these four type of people they do not get any benefit and yet they enjoy others downfall take in a jani mahe i cannot give their name these are the four types of people about which about whom bhartiya has told in his book niti shatakam and now i have made a letter research fifth type also take in a jani mahe i can't give their name but i can tell you what do they do the four type of people they do not derive any benefit they enjoy others downfall the fifth type of people they enjoy others downfall so much they enjoy others harm so much by harming themselves they do harm to others so what do they do they sit down in an airplane and strike with their tra- world tower trade center i have killed 3000 people i'm so happy i am killed doesn't matter but i have killed 3000 people so happy by killing themselves they kill others these are the fifth type of people you find everywhere you must be knowing about the story of a person how he was jealous of the neighbor and then he got a boon and then he asked that his uh, one eye should be harmed so that the neighbor loses both the eyes and falls down and gets killed this is what is happening so in our society today third fourth and fifth type of people mano rakshasa third type then fourth type and fifth type are there in plenty samanya manushya ordinary human beings are there but few and satpurusha excellent human beings you have to see with the microscope microscopic minority that is why swami vivekanand said what we want is man making education character building education not demon making education this is what we are doing we are producing excellent engineers excellent doctors giants but selfish giants they are not given any human values they are not given any input on character building now our new education policy 2020 speaks of the value education i do not know whether it, how far it will be implemented but if it is implemented it is very good otherwise earlier also there were so many commissions kothari commission dr radha krishnan commission all of them they had told implement 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 value education but so far it has remained a dream only and that is why in the society we find so much of corruption so much of degradation so much of crying everything because our education policy our education system is producing demons and not human beings giants but selfish giants they are very brilliant engineers are brilliant i am not saying they are not brilliant but we are giving more emphasis more emphasis only on careers and not on character career development is a must career development is 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 of course very necessary but if it is not accompanied by character building it will be neither good for that person nor good for the society this is what swami vivekananda said what we want is man make education character building education this is what i told dr kalam and i said dr kalam we have got thousands of education institutions where we are giving to the lakhs of students education formal also and informal also at the same time we are trying to provide this value oriented education apart from that we have certain institutions which are specially created to impart value education and uh, for example vivekan institute of human excellence in hyderabad ramkrishna institute of moral and spiritual education at mysore and i told now we want to start vivekan institute of value education and culture vivek in porbandar and we would like that this to be inaugurated by you dr kalam said shami ji let us work together and he agreed to come for 
inaugurating it. And he came, he kept his promise. On 12 January 2006, he came to Porbandar, inaugurated Vivekanan Institute of Value Education Culture, and talked to about 5,000 youths and uh, replied to their questions. Beautiful question answer session was there. I'll give you an example of only one question. One student, one student stood up and asked, Sir, Operation Duryodhan, Operation Chakravi, and other operations have revealed the tip of the iceberg that is rampant corruption in the country today. As the president of India, how do you feel about it? Where do you think lies the solution? Then Dr. Kalam stood up and said, You see, the parliament has already taken some action on those MPs. And then he took up a book and started reading from the book of Swami Vivekananda. And where Swami Vivekan says, no number of parliament acts can make a nation good, can make a nation great. Then what can make a, what can make a nation good and what can make a nation great? Again, he read out from the book of Swami Vivekananda, only a large number of good enlightened citizens can make a nation good, can make a nation great. And then he said, and uh, the government uh, cannot produce good people and the government uh, will not produce good people but who can do it only three persons can do it who are they father mother and the teacher these are the only three why because when we are talking about character building what is character character is nothing but the bundle of habits it is nothing but samskaras and how a habit is formed, so a thought, reap an action, so an action, reap a habit, so a habit, reap a character. So it is nothing but bundles of samskaras. And how samskaras are derived? Number one, from the past, past birth. Number two, from the parents, either genetically or by the behavior pattern. Number three, from the environment. And fourth, most important, is teachers. That is why teachers can play a very important role and that is why teachers are the torch bearers of change because they are building the character of the future citizens, the future leaders of the nation and of the world. That is why teachers are the torch bearers of change. Ordinary teachers can do extraordinary work. I will give you just a few examples. Example of Sister Nevidita, Miss Margaret Noble. She was a teacher. Miss Margaret Noble in England. She became a disciple of Swami Vivekananda after listening to his lectures, speeches. So when Swamiji in London, he she listened to all his lectures. And then Swami Vivekananda inspired her to dedicate her whole life for the sake of the society. He wrote a beautiful letter on 7 June 1896 to Miss Margaret Noble. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Awake, awake, great ones. Awake, awake, great ones. The world is burning with misery. Can you sleep? Let us call and call till the sleeping gods awake. Till the God within answers to the call. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice in the past has been the law. It will be a loss for ages to come. The earth's best and bravest will have to sacrifice themselves for the, for the good of humanity. Buddhas by the hundreds are necessary with eternal love and pity. This is the need of the hour. Sacrifice. I know teachers undergo a lot of suffering, but it is a sacrifice. Sacrifice for the nation, sacrifice for the society. You may be getting very low salary compared to other officers or other IS officers. But what of that? You are sacrificing. You are sacrificing every way in every way for the good of the nation, for the good of the society. So when Swami Vivekan came back to India in 1897, he did two things. One, he started Ramakrishna Mission. Now we are celebrating 125th anniversary of Ramakrishna, of founding of Ramakrishna Mission. 1st May 1897, he had started. So from 1st May 2022 to 1st May 2023, we are going to have the uh, celebration. And second thing, he said, 
no bird can fly with only one wing it requires minimum it requires two wings so similarly he said no nation can develop without the development of the women and women development cannot take place without education of women so he started a school for the girls in calcutta but he was not finding any proper person who could handle it so he gave a clarion call to miss margaret noble can you come to sacrifice your life for educating the indian women and she came she sacrificed her whole life for educating indian women for the sake of mother india and her own the mantra that he, he used to repeat was bharat mata bharat mata bharat mata with that mantra repeating that mantra he had, she had passed away whole life she was dedicated to bharat mata and she came here and sacrificed her life so when swami vivekan gave her brahmacharya diksha he gave her the new name nivedita the dedicated one sister nivedita just look at her life what a wonderful life every teacher must read the life of sister nivedita very inspiring life how much dedication for each and every student she used to keep a diary separate diary how that their student is developing what is what are the future needs of that student everything she will write down in the diary for every student there is a separate diary what a wonderful dedication that is why swami vivekananda gave her the name the dedicated one sister nivedita ravindra tagore gave her the name lok mata nivedita because she was she became almost mother india in spite of being british she fought with the british she fought for the independence of india she was a great inspiring source for the revolutionaries also apart from education her own her contribution was also for the politics that is why she had to leave ramkrishna mission because ramkrishna mission keeps itself away from politics sister nevita wanted to be in politics in active politics so she resigned and she took very important role she played a very important role in the revolutionary movement sister nevita's life should be read by all the teachers another name comes to me master marshal mahendranath gupta m he was a teacher in ishwarchand vidyasagar school so because he was a teacher he was called master marshal and he had lot of problems in the family so one day he left the uh, family with his wife and children suddenly and uh, it so happened that the wheel of the horse carriage came out so he had to take shelter in his sister's house next day morning nearby by the side of the ganges he had just gone to see the garden and near the garden there was dakshineshwar temple and there was a room in which sri ramkrishna was talking to the devotees just out of curiosity he just peeped in and he found there was a lot of peace and his mind was full of melancholy disappointment in fact he was contemplating suicide at that time he was so much disturbed in his mind he saw a great peace of mind in the room he sat down on one corner and after some time when he was leaving sri ram krishna said please come again next day he came again he came next day again he came next day and he got so much courage he got so much solace his whole life was transformed he went on listening to sri ram krishna noting down in his diary once swami vekan saw that diary he said master mahesh this is a be- so many important teachings of sri ram krishna you written down you must publish them in the book form no no this is my private diary i will not publish no no you should publish then after great persuasion master mahesh published his diary the name of the book is sri ram krishna katha amrita later on it was translated into english the gospel of sri ram krishna it was translated to many languages hindi english gujarati tamil telugu malayalam kannad odia and also in many foreign languages french german greek russian dutch japanese spanish so many languages thousands of copies have been sold millions of cop- people have got solace by reading this book 
it has transformed the lives of so many people so many people have been saved from suicide by reading this book there are so many such case examples it created a world record in 80, in in 1983 when the uh, copyright restrictions were removed because master master died in 1933 so after 50 years the copyright restrictions were removed then there was a competition between the publishers to, read, to publish this book previously it was published by kathamrita bhavan five volumes 70 rupees at that time so one publisher came forward said no, no we will give uh, five volumes in only 60 rupees somebody said no in two volumes we will bring out all the five volumes and we will give 40 rupees and it went on 16 publishers went to the, just uh, entered the competition last was that one volume 18 rupees <laughs> 18 rupees the book of 70 rupees in 18 rupees only one volume all the five volumes in one volume 18 rupees but pre publication price you have to pay in advance and the day in which this copyright restrictions were removed there were long queues for getting that book because that they had already paid in advance so there was a stampede type of affair in calcutta at that time and the week magazine brought out a special a special um, a special issue with the cover showing karl marx and shri ram krishna and the heading was shri ram krishna outsells karl marx <laughs> in such story it was told that the sale of ram krishna katha with only one book in 45 days was more than 45 lakh of rupees which was more than the three year sale of complete marxism literature in the whole of west bengal and so shri ram krishna outsells karl marx just imagine one ordinary teacher can transform the whole world this is a glaring example just by writing a book shri ram krishna the great master shri ram krishna kathamrita all the teachers must also read that book because it gives the solution to all the practical problems they we are facing today everyday problems but it gives a spiritual solution to all our problems beautiful solution provided by shri ram krishna and it is a conversation you feel as if shri ram krishna is talking to you master mahashay has written the book in such a manner you feel as if you are also a part of it so swami vekan wrote when first he read a few pages of this book he said wonderful you have done wonderful work socratic dialogues are plato all over but here you are entirely hidden and the dramatic part is very beautiful these are the compliments given by swami vivekanand to master mahashay so read the life of master mahashay read the ramkrishna kathamrita read the gospel of sri ramkrishna then you find how great can be the teachers so there are many such examples where ordinary teachers have performed extraordinary work so i would request all the teachers to remember that they are not ordinary teachers they are torch bearers of change they are national builders they alone can can make changes the key lies with them so they should themselves they should have dignity about their own profession don't think low about yourself maybe under the present circumstances you got a lot of problems maybe you are facing a lot of difficulties administrative difficulties also what up that but you are doing a noble work there is no second opinion about it you are preparing the future generations you are preparing the enlightened citizens you are preparing the future leaders of the nation it's a great job that you are doing people may may or may not recognize you doesn't matter at least you should recognize yourself getting up after early morning getting up first pat yourself i am a teacher i am a torch bearer i am a national builder this is you must give compliments to yourself first then the society will start giving getting giving compliments to you whether society gives you or not you must compliment yourself every day i am a teacher how great i am i am a national builder i am a torch bearer of change this dignity should come 
when dignity comes dedication will come automatically and afterwards when you get devotion when you convert work into worship then you get two success so success formula is 3d plus 3c plus 3p plus 3l What is 3D? Dignity of profession, dedication, devotion. And what is 3C? Concentration, communication, and confidence. And what are the three I? IQ, EQ, 3Q, IQ, EQ, and SQ, 3Q. And what are the three P? Swami Vivekananda gives us, remembering one sentence of Swami Vivekananda. Purity passions and perseverance these are the three essentials to success and above all love and above all love so love of what type love towards the profession love towards the students and love towards learning sharpening the saw learning process should continue Sri Ramakrishna used to stay Sri Ramakrishna used to stay as long as I live, so long do I learn. Learning process should not be stopped till the end of our life. We go on learning, giving back to society, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. This circuit should go on. So I'm very happy to talk to the teachers. And uh, I want to reserve some time for the question answer session. In the meanwhile, while we are preparing your questions, we will show a small clipping of the program in which Dr. Kalam had given reply to the question which I had mentioned at Porbandar on Swami Vivekananda birthday celebration, national duty celebration. So you can just listen to that. And also in the meanwhile, prepare your question. And then either you can unmute yourself and ask or you can write down in the chat box somebody will read out to me from the chat box and I will reply so just let us have a look at the small clipping now the now, next the question next. Mohit Pandey Your Excellency, Your Excellency, Operation Chakraview Operation and Operation Duryodhan exposed just the tip of the iceberg, that is the rampant corruption in the political system of our nation. As the President of our nation, how do you view this and where do you think lies the solution? You know, uh, you will be aware that, uh, that uh, immediately parliament has taken some action, taken you know about action. it, you are aware of it. But what is I relevant, I would like to read something, something, the basis of all systems, basis of all systems, social or political, rests upon the goodness of men and women. You know, yeah, read it. The basis of all systems, social or political, rests upon the goodness of men and women. No nation is great or good because parliament enacts this or that. And because it's men are great and good. Who said this? Who said this? Swami Vivekananda said. Swami Vivekananda said. The message is, the message the, you, you have to you generate have to good generate people. Good people. Government cannot create good government people. Cannot create good government people. will never government create, a good create a good people. But a good citizen can, can be created. Only three people. Only three people. Who are the three? Who are the three? Father, Father, mother, mother, and the teacher, elementary school and teacher. teacher. Elementary school teacher. So that too, that's possible. So that too, that's possible. Mm. Mm. So I think uh, now uh, you listen to Dr. Kalam. 
he also says only three persons can produce good people not the government cannot produce good people father mother and the teacher the teacher have a very important role to play is there any question any questions from the participants so i had already given you success formula s is equal to 3d plus 3c plus 3q plus 3p plus 3l 3d dedication first of all dignity of profession dedication devotion and then 3q iq eq sq as you know the latest discovery of the modern science is sq dana zohar she is a professor in oxford university she has written a book the name of the book is sq spiritual intelligence the ultimate intelligence where she says neurologically physiologically biologically psychologically from every point of view there is a contrading evidence there is something called sq which is the basis of both iq and eq what is iq intelligence quotient iq will tell you how to play the game of life what is eq emotional quotient emotional intelligence daniel goleman made a research in 1991 and he said eq is more important than iq EQ will tell you how to play the game of life under chess circumstances with change strategies. And what is SQ? SQ will tell you why to play the game of life. What is the purpose of life? What is the meaning of life? Why we are here on this earth? So IQ, EQ, SQ, all the three are important for getting the success of life. And then three C: com confidence, communication, communication between the teacher and the students communication between the teachers and the other teachers communication between the teachers and the principal communication between the teachers and the parents all the communications should be proper then only this uh, so you can get success in your teachers profession most important of course is concentration of mind ralph waldo emerson said the secret of success in trade in war in every management of human affairs is the concentration of mind and swami vivekan also said the same thing he said if i have to do my education over again i will not undergo the present system of education first i will learn how to control my mind how to concentrate my mind information i can have at my own will so he said education is not the amount of information that goes into your brain and runs undigested all your life education is being and becoming and education comes with the concentration of mind the concentration of mind is very very important so 3c communication confidence and and concentration of mind and 3p and 3p 3l i will already explain to you so this is a success formula if you follow this formula and always remember early in the morning when you early okay if you cannot get up early in the morning whenever you get up you start first you start with this mantra i am a teacher how great i am and how responsible i am and me depends on me depends the future of the nation on me depends the building up of the character of the enlightened citizens and hence the nation and the whole society and the whole world depends upon me so i am doing a very great work i am not an ordinary teacher i am a torch bearer of change and i am a national builder this this if once you get this dignity of profession then dedication will follow and the other things will follow any question any questions from members in chat chat box ma che ke chat box ma jo to maru badu details to aapi de badi if you want you can uh, we are giving the details in my website uh, so many articles you will get plus my book teachers the torch bearer of change also you will get and uh, my youtube link you will get so many uh, such videos and lectures uh, science and art of becoming a better teacher and all that you will get and uh, uh, if you uh, if you want to ask question later on also you can write to me my email id is also given
Uh, I think there are no questions right now. Okay, very nice. So as we have come to the end of today's session, I would like to thank Swamiji on behalf of everyone for enlightening us with his words. And we will be very glad to have you on our campus. Yeah, <laughs> it will be thank great pleasure. So Let us see. Uh, I am also thankful to the organizers for giving me this opportunity. Of course, uh, online is okay, but offline is better. We will see later on if it can be done. Thank you. Thank you for your invitation. Thank you.